In the last webcast, I introduced you to the enolate anion, which is derived from a carbonyl by deprotonating the hydrogen at the alpha position. No doubt this is a nucleophilic species. Its nucleophilic character is revealed on oxygen as the anion. And in that other delocalized form, we also saw that part of that negative charge is carried on the carbon, and so it's nucleophilic at this carbon as well. In this webcast, I want to introduce you to some other nucleophilic species that are derived from carbonyl groups. Closely related to the enolate anion is its conjugate acid, the enol. And if we were to protonate the enolate anion at the oxygen position rather than at the alpha carbon, we would end up with the structure that's shown here. This is a neutral, nucleophilic form of a carbonyl group. This neutral enol species is present any time we have a carbonyl derivative that has an alpha carbon that's sp3 hybridized and which has a hydrogen atom on that alpha position. We call this a tautomeric form, and by tautomer we mean simply we're going to switch the position of a hydrogen here from carbon to oxygen, and we're going to switch the position simultaneously of a double bond. The carbon-oxygen double bond moves over to make a carbon-carbon double bond. Because of the much greater stability of the carbon-oxygen double bond, the carbon-oxygen double bond bond strength is much larger than the carbon-carbon bond strength, the equilibrium for this tautomer form is almost always going to favor the keto as opposed to the enol tautomer. However, the enol tautomer is a nucleophilic form and it can be present even under acidic conditions. In addition to the enol, a closely related species where we've replaced oxygen with nitrogen is the enamine. And the enamine structure is another nucleophilic form of a carbonyl derivative that we'll learn about in upcoming webcasts. The only thing I want you to pay attention to here is to see the close relationship between the enol and the enamine, recognizing that this is a neutral nucleophilic form derived from a carbonyl group. Normally, the carbonyl group is considered to be an electrophilic species, but in this webcast, I've showed you that there are some nucleophilic forms of the carbonyl that can be present under both acidic as well as basic conditions.